I also feel like Casey Neistat when I'm vlogging on the one wheel. <laughs> now it's my turn. I really like beer Ritz. I think it's really cool. It's a shame it's a bit too expensive to live in though. I feel like a James Bond girl. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good morning everybody. We are here at this motorway air. It's actually a free to um, park air. Um, we said in the last episode how difficult we've been finding it along this um, west coast to find park ups. And um, so for the two nights before this we stayed at a paid air which was about 13 euros 80 a night. Which was good because we had electricity and everything like that, water and all services. So when they do the services they do it very well here but along this coast it's very difficult to find anywhere to park up and we're on our way to Osgore now which is our next destination and we drove about an hour and a half yesterday and um, we ended up at this motorway air which is free to park overnight it's actually got showers and everything so it's really good but uh, yeah just finding it really challenging at the moment to find um, park ups along the coast because it's just basically not allowed um, so we might have to stay at some airs in the towns and stuff and um, to be able to explore those areas but I think this morning the plan is we're going to catch up on a bit more work we've got the computers out we're going to do some more editing and then we're going to head off to Osgore and um, yeah it's a really cool, cool surf town so we're going to take you along with us and we'll get on the road soon. We have made it to Cap Breton I think that's how you say it and it's just south of Osgore which is like a really popular surfing spot so we're hoping to maybe catch some waves maybe later or tomorrow because we've got our surfboard now which is very exciting and we've just been walking around the town there's lots of really nice shops and we're now just walking along the river here because it's quite warm today and there's a nice breeze coming from the river which is very nice but yeah we've had a bit of a stressful morning um, especially with the van uh, we, we think that then we're not sure if it is an issue because it kind of has been coming and going but Johnny said that when he's been pressing on the accelerator with the clutch that sometimes there's a bit of a dead spot where it just doesn't seem to be kind of is that the right way to describe yeah, it? Yeah it's like it kind of like when I'm coming off the clutch and start to accelerate it almost like yeah it has this dead spot and then it kind of then goes but if yeah. I'm really easy off the clutch it doesn't seem to be an issue so we don't know. Yeah so we don't really know what's going on um, we kind of were panicking for a bit and trying to speak to someone to see if they could help us figure it out but for now it seems to be okay and the van is driving so we are hopefully will have no problems um, but yeah so that was not very fun this morning but otherwise we've just parked up in an air right by the beach which is really nice and um, I think it's 14 euros 50 to stay there the night but we thought it's a good idea to stay there because you're literally right by the beach so we can go there for sunset and we're not too far from the cats as well so yeah, really enjoying it here and enjoying being out in the sun. So, had to get some ice cream because it's so nice and warm again today. And I've gone for Ferrero Rocher and banana. And the combination is perfect. <laughs> We've just got back to the air after walking around town on the beach it's just a glorified car park with electrical hookup points for 14 euros 50 a night yeah but it's right by the beach yeah it's right by the beach and literally it's the only place you can park so we're staying here for tonight and gonna to make the most of it we've been in france for exactly two weeks today and it's actually the first time that we've turned the gas on and cooked something on the stove 
purely because we worked with the tourism board and they provided all the meals for us, but also for the other week, um, we basically just ate salads because of the he massive heat wave. So we didn't really feel like cooking anything, but today- And it would make the van really hot. And it make, yeah, it would make the van really hot. So today is the first day we turn the gas on and we're gonna eat a cooked meal in the van, which seems crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy. And it's probably gonna get really hot in here in a minute. <laughs> so, I've turned into a more appropriate clothing <laughs> for cooking inside in the hot weather. We're having basically pasta with bolognese sauce and some delicious sausages that I saw in the supermarket. We've just made it to watch the sunset and it's so incredible. It's quite hazy today but a really really pretty sunset all along this coast because it's facing west. You get incredible sunsets pretty much guaranteed uh, when the weather's pretty good so Good. Good morning everybody. Just been to check on the waves this morning to see what they're like and they seem a lot more manageable for us and our level of ability than they did yesterday so we might be getting out on those at some point today. But I think um, the next thing to do is to go try and get um, some bread from the boulangerie for lunch today. It's about one mile into town where the bakery is from where we're parking. So I've decided to take the, uh, the one wheel in and uh, it's a much easier way to do things. This um, cycle lane also runs all the way into town as well, so it's mega easy, super safe. And uh, yeah, just a really nice way to start the day. So after working this morning, we are now ready to go for an afternoon surf. Um, we are really excited actually, because the waves here look really, really good. Yesterday they were quite a bit bigger than I think we'd be comfortable in. Today they're looking nice. So we we're all ready, prepped up. Johnny's just put some wax on the board because we've realized our board needs a bit of wax on it. And um, the sun is just about to pop out as well. And I think, Sky wants to come and surf, and Tia. <laughs> <laughs> just had an amazing surf session. I got battered by a lot of waves and many times the board ended up above my head. <laughs> I, got quite, I got quite frustrated a few times because it was really hard work and the current was very strong today. You did really well though. Yeah, it was, it was tricky. Yeah. The, current, the current is very, very strong here. So yeah. it's, it's very tiring and because obviously we're fairly new to this so we're going into the smaller we're waves so we're just getting battered the whole time getting out i think once we get better and we'll be able to be on the bigger waves we just bob around in the water a lot more rather than fighting the waves yeah but i'm sure it will be a slow learning process but we're getting there getting the hang of it and it's really good fun it's a great place um, even though the air is like basically a car park um, it's quite nice seeing lots of other people Lots of other surfers enjoying the sea and just people having a good time. And there were people playing music last night, so Johnny was dancing away in the bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically now we are heading off to the cafe. Because of our internet situation, we can't hotspot off our phones, which is really annoying. So we've got to go and find a cafe to upload um, the next episode. Yeah, the next episode. So Johnny is on a mission to find good. Weefy is what they call it here. Good afternoon everybody, we have made it to Biarritz and uh, we've been very excited to come here because um, we've not really explored here before and uh, so far we're walking through the town and it reminds us a lot of when we visited Deauville on the north coast of France last year 
because the buildings are all very similar and they're very cool. It's a really cool town so far. So if you're interested in watching that video, click the link up here. But yeah, we're gonna go walk around town now and we're still trying to find somewhere where we can upload the next episode of our vlog. Um, we haven't been very successful so far, so we'll go try and find some internet now. So I did a little bit of research before I got here and um, we were looking at the prices of um, living here. And according to Google, a one bedroom apartment just outside the city centre is almost a million euros. So uh, not your cheapest place to live. I really like beer ritz. I think it's really cool. It's a shame it's a bit too expensive to live in though. But we've um, we found a cafe now, and it's probably the fanciest looking cafe we've ever sat in. But they said the internet's very fast here, so um, hopefully we can get this video uploaded. It's my first trip <laughs> to France, and it's uh, just um, crepe soup, which is just a crepe with sugar. So I'm very excited. Mission success, we have managed to successfully upload the next episode for you guys and now we're just carrying on our adventure walking around Beer Ritz and, and checking out everything and we are having a great time so far. The beach is really cool here because it's so different from the west, rest of the west coast that we've been on so far. It's like, um, looks more like what you'd find in the UK, more like shorter and, and closed off whereas normally like the beaches we've been on so far in France have all been very long straight long beaches and there's also a rock on the beach down here that looks a bit like Bingen Beach in Bali. So yeah, just having a really cool day. I also don't want to apologise for the last few episodes of not really having any drone footage, pretty much none at all. Um, we're, the first two episodes of this series in France, we were working with the tourism board and we were in and out of places where it wasn't really possible to get much drone footage. And um, yeah, we're just taking lots of photos. And then obviously we had all the forest fires, um, some of the beaches are out, there was no drones allowed anyway. And then um, for the, this episode we've been in two towns. So um, hopefully when we get away from these towns and stuff we move more into like rural countryside areas, we'll be able to get the drone up and get some epic shots. So I think we've found the perfect beach for surfing, maybe tomorrow, and um, it is full of surfers because the waves are really good and they're just like perfect slow rolling waves, um, which we're very excited to try out tomorrow, so I'm just going to try and figure out how we can get here without having to carry the board like ages away, so yeah, it's just really really nice and the views from here are beautiful, it's just got like the mountains in the background and this to this side as well you've got like all the really nice old houses just on the rocks it's just a, got a very nice feel to it just made it back to the van after a lovely day exploring the Aritz and we are now reunited with the girls <laughs> one thing you must try if you come to France is something called cornichons we bought a massive jar of them uh, they're kind of like basically like pickles but they're actually small cucumbers that are pickled so if you like vinegary taste then these are for you and sometimes they have like little pickled onions as well but these are delicious good morning everybody so we are back we're still in Biarritz and we are off this morning to go and find some brunch which I think we already know where we're going <laughs> um, but yeah, very hot day this morning. I washed my hair and it's literally dried within a few seconds of being outside, which is crazy. And it's a really nice day and I'm excited to go and explore a bit more of the Aritz. So we've got our smoothie bowls and it looks really delicious I cannot wait to tuck in we had to just walk past loads of people dancing and I just had like a moment where I thought it's just gonna spill everywhere <laughs> but it's made it in one piece now I need to not spill it over me we are now just strolling the streets and it's very well known for its shopping around here so we're just going around 
the streets where all the shops are. I found myself a hat, which I'm very happy about because <laughs> I've been trying to find a hat for ages. So I am one happy customer. And now we're just gonna go and find the markets and just have a look around a few of the more shops. We've just been back to the van to have some lunch and also to check on Tear and Sky. And now we are heading down to the beach um, just to chill for this afternoon. And it's beautiful and warm today, so probably just gonna do a bit of sunbathing and relaxing, and then maybe even get a pizza for sunset on the beach later. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> My feet are so swollen from the heat. <laughs> it's gonna be cooler tomorrow, I think. So yeah, so um, we're gonna go make the most of it. Though. Yeah, I'm looking forward to do some surfing tomorrow. As is the way when um, traveling in a van and living in a van, whenever you leave the van, you have to remember a million and one things to, to make sure everything's put away properly. And I don't think we closed the roof window vent, so Johnny's just gone back to go double check. <laughs> so that we're all safe. And I think I left my phone as well, so great start to the afternoon. We've made it to the beach and we found a nice little spot right on the edge of the beach. It's pretty busy here and it feels like a proper European summer. Everybody is out enjoying the lovely weather and we've just been in for a little dip and I think we might go in and again to cool down but yeah it's really really nice here and uh, we're surrounded by cliffs and you can see the city like just behind us. It's just a very nice spot. just had a very nice relaxing afternoon on the beach and now we are on the hunt for dinner which I think we're both really craving pizza so we found somewhere that says it's the best pizza in Biarritz so we will be the judges of that <laughs> um, yeah but it's been a really nice day it's been feeling much cooler now I had like a constant sweat on my face earlier so it was really nice just to be by the beach cool down and just feel like just feels like we're having a proper European summer I think I said that earlier but it's just been really really nice and the town here as well is just alive and it's got a really good feeling around here we've got our pizza and we've made it to the sunset viewpoint here in Biarritz and we're hoping that we'll get a sunset there's a bit of sun kind of in the distance but it's quite cloudy now so yeah, we're gonna tuck into some pizza like this. Good evening, everybody. We haven't filmed anything today, um, but we are just heading into town now, still in Biarritz, gonna go watch the sunset. days here in Biarritz and um, I think it's safe to say we have fallen in love with it just a little bit um, I think we are very excited tomorrow to go and do some surfing in Biarritz because that's the one thing you've got to do when you come to somewhere like this because it's got the best waves here apparently so we've got to test that out for ourselves and uh, yeah I've forgotten what I was gonna say <laughs> Oh yeah, and also the park up we found here has been so good. Um, there's been a few other vans there as well, but it's been so easy to get in and out of town, whereas a lot of the places you've had to pay for. So yeah, we've just kind of struggled for reasons of why we'd need to leave here, really. <laughs> so yeah, but we, we need to leave because we've kind of run out of water as well. So got to go sort things out, but all in all, it's been definitely a great place to come check out 
and maybe we'll be back again one day in the future. We've just been enjoying a really beautiful sunset here on the La Grande Plage, which is the main beach in um, Biarritz. And I think we're gonna end today's bit here and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So we have made it, well, we're still in Biarritz, but we've just parked a little bit further along the coastline. And we've got a really cool spot at the moment where we're literally parked opposite the sea. And we are now gonna go for a surf together, which we've been very excited to do here in Biarritz because that's one of the things you've got to do when you're here because it's well known for its surf. So let's go for a surf. I feel like a James Bond girl. <laughs> we're all kitted out and we're ready to surf. You ready? Yep. <laughs> So we just got back from the beach and the uh, the waves weren't that great today. They were much bigger than our level of ability and um, the break was really heavy as well. So it was just um, not great surfing conditions today. So we just spent the afternoon sunbathing on the beach and now we've got back and we're going to have a shower. So we're going to show you how we do that and have a shower inside the van. So as you can see on our screen here, we actually have zero water left in our main tank. But what we do do is we store 20 litres of fresh water under the bed and the reason we do this is for showers and for emergency um, times like this when we run out of water and so what we do is we take the fresh water out of here we fill up our bucket we put it inside of our shower and then we can have a shower with our little pump shower here so it's super easy and works really well so obviously the water is cold in the um, in the storage unit storage container but um, if we want hot water, we can either leave this outside in the sun or, I mean, it's probably lukewarm now from being in the van, or we can boil a kettle of water and just add a bit of hot water in the, um, in the bucket and that'll warm it up. But on a day like today, when it's like 30 degrees outside, we'll just have um, the water straight out there, the temperature is. So the bucket I've just filled up with water, it's about 10 litres and for both of us, that's normally enough to have a quick shower. And I think last time we had a shower doing this, Hannah was even able to wash her hair um, so yeah, we're very frugal on our water. We don't use much water and we probably shower like this once a week, once, maybe twice a week, depending on what we're doing. Um, so yeah, very, very low water consumption in our van. All right, time to have a shower. <laughs> now it's my turn. It's actually really nice. <laughs> Feels like glacial water, fresh from the mountains. And that's how you shower in a van. <laughs> So because there wasn't much surf today, I thought I'd come out on the one wheel and have a little um, skate around. And um, yeah, it's beautiful. The sun's gonna go down in an hour or so. Had a really nice day, just enjoying the sun and enjoying the beach. And um, even though we didn't get to do much surfing today, we actually did a sunset surf yesterday. But we, um, yeah, we didn't film it because uh, we just wanted to enjoy it to ourselves. So we don't feel too bad that we missed out today, but we just didn't get to show you much um, surfing today. But that's the way it is sometimes. Um, depending on what the surf's doing tonight, we might might go for a sunset surf, but we just had a shower, so who knows what we'll do. But um, yeah, it's been a really good time so far here in Biarritz, and I think the plan for later is we're going to make some pizzas in our Omni oven. I also feel like Casey Neistat when I'm vlogging on the one wheel. <laughs> On tonight's menu we have pizza and we have got a Omnia oven now which is this contraption and it basically works like like an oven so we can now make pizza which is one of our favorite meals to have and really excited to give it a go and show you what I make after two failed attempts of making the lining for the Omnia oven I have finally made it so now it's time to make the pizza bases. Right, so the pizza is in. Now it's time to let it cook. 
Meanwhile, Sky living her best life. Okay, so the pizza first one has come out. Looks pretty good. Now we've got to give it the taster test. Give it the taste test. Mmm, very nice. You've got Nando <laughs> sauce for me. You haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Smells good. Yeah. It's good. It's the dough raw? No. Oh, nice. It's nice. That is the end of our time here in Biarritz. We have had such an epic time and we've really fallen in love with this area. And um, yeah, we've got so many more adventures to come, so don't forget to tune in next week and we'll see you for another adventure.